Do EVs really pollute 1,850 times more than a gas car, like this woman on Instagram says? According to a 2022 study, electric vehicles pollute at a rate far higher than their gasoline or diesel powered counterparts. Now this is a couple years old, but like a cockroach that won't die, it's back again. This clip quotes a redacted article by the site LifeSite News, but thanks to the power of the internet being written in ink, we were able to dig up the original. And when you look at this, it's pretty obvious that this is a conspiracy theorist website talking about the all knowing super elite and will you help share the truth? Give us money today. Kind of nutty, uh, but imagine how bad it must be for this site to actually redact or pull this article given the nature of its content. But back to the video from Xtina here on Instagram. Electric vehicles release 1,850 times more pollutants into the surrounding environment than gas powered vehicles. Now 1,850 is a pretty specific number and it should be because it comes from that report that she's quoting, the emissions analytics one. However, there's one problem with this. The report did not compare EVs to gas cars. What they did compare was tailpipe emissions to pollution from tires in a typical gas car under a variety of different driving conditions. They concluded that tire pollution was 1,000 times worse than pollution from the tailpipe. Now in 2022, the group published a follow-up study using what they called normal driving conditions. Safe driving doesn't actually mean less pollution, sadly. Now tire pollution was 1,850 times worse than tailpipe emissions in that specific test. Now if you want to read more about this study, you can find Find it in our list of sources, which is down in the description just below the like button. Now in that update, they mentioned a strong reaction from the battery EV community to the 2022 report and talk about how heavier cars like modern EVs with heavy batteries could produce more tire pollution due to wear and tear. What they don't say is that EVs are worse for the environment, not even close. Have you ever noticed that when you're driving in an electric vehicle, the ride seems smoother than gas powered cars? I have. It's great. And it's the result of electric motors not having to shift gears, plus the software based torque mapping. But go on. This is because electric vehicles on average weigh 30% more than other gas powered vehicles. That number 30% was widely reported a few years back. And it's one of those numbers that wasn't really based in fact, but in theory. And the problem with this research was that they looked at the heaviest EVs and compared to the lightest gas counterparts. So the reality is when you compare apples to apples, you find that EVs are 10 to 15% heavier, not 30%. But I interrupted. Please continue. When you think of emissions from exhaust, tire wear plays a significant role in emitting pollutants. And because these vehicles are heavier, the tires wear down way faster. The synthetic rubber used to make tires includes certain chemicals that get released into the air. Right, that's the concept behind measuring tire wear and pollution, which is what the actual study was all about. But again, it didn't really specify EVs or gas cars. In fact, both have the exact same issue. But please continue. And because electric vehicles are 30% heavier than other cars, they release way more pollutants. Wait. Carry the two 30%, which is we know actually 15 or 10%, doesn't equate 1,850 times more. You literally just said it was 30% more. So if that were the number, then why are we lying about this and coming up with some wild stat? For that to be true, a Tesla Model 3 would have to weigh as much as 16 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. And this is another example of how these disinformation peddlers try to lie to you for profit. They try to take one number and then another number and treat them as if they're the same. But literally, she just said 30% and 1,850 times. Not even close. Both the government of the United States and Canada are hoping to ban or severely limit the sale of gas powered vehicles by 2035, despite the pollution and other deficiencies. Sorry, Xtina, you're wrong again. Uh, the governments you mentioned, yes, are trying to limit or push people to electrify their fleet, but they're doing so because they pollute less, not more. In fact, when you look at data from the IEA, you see that internal combustion engine vehicles pollute twice as much as battery electric vehicles, even when those battery electric vehicles get their energy from high GHG sources versus a mix of renewables and high GHG sources, which is what they most commonly do. No matter which way you slice it, gas cars, diesel cars are far worse for the environment than battery electric vehicles are. And that's even considering that battery electric vehicles are more carbon intensive to manufacture and do get their energy from a mix of clean and dirty sources. It still doesn't matter. After merely two years, in many cases, gas cars have polluted more than EVs and it only gets worse from there. But back to the actual study from Emissions Analytics, here's what they do say. 
Excess emissions under aggressive driving should alert us to a risk with battery electric vehicles. Greater vehicle mass and torque delivered can lead to rapidly increasing tire particulate emissions. Half a ton of battery weight can result in tire emissions that are almost 400 times worse than real world tailpipe emissions, everything else being equal. Now there's a couple points to notice here. First off, they're talking about aggressive driving in this quote. This isn't normal driving data. Second, notice they don't repeat that 1,850 number because that one was from the comparison of tailpipe emissions to tire pollution in gas cars. It wasn't about EVs versus gas cars. Nick Molden, the CEO of Emissions Analytics, put it this way in an interview. The central contrast is between tailpipe and tire emissions, whatever the vehicle. Molden said his company did not find that EVs pollute more. This would be a completely false conclusion, not least because of the significant CO2 emissions from the tailpipe, he told AFP on March 21st. Tire emissions is a problem to mitigate, not a reason not to electrify. But back to the stat that did stand out to me there. A heavy EV can pollute nearly 400 times more from the tires than an average gas car pollutes from a tailpipe, per the report. Follow me here, though. Gas cars also have polluting tires. The tailpipe emissions are on top of the tire emissions. It's also worth noting that emissions analytics didn't do their test on electric vehicles. They tested two gas cars, a VW Golf and a Mercedes C-Class. The extra tire pollution from EVs was purely speculative. Also in the 2022 article, he stated that a gentle battery electric vehicle driver, which I know all of you are, with the benefit of regenerative braking can more than cancel out the tire wear emissions from the additional weight of the vehicle. In other words, we need EVs and better tires. The tire part was the point of the study. It's like how we can mitigate tailpipe emissions from gas cars by driving electric, but we also need clean energy to make the biggest difference for the environment. In the same way, we need clean tires and or lighter batteries to take our impact to the next level. That point on regenerative braking is worth revisiting as well. Multiple reports have concluded that when you don't consider regen braking, EVs emit more tire pollution than gas cars and hybrids. But if you consider regen braking, EVs give off about the same level of tire pollution as gas cars and hybrids. They sometimes give off less. At the end of the day though, I think it's important for people to see this for themselves and take a test drive. Rent one on Turo or head to a showroom near you. Many brands offer free test drives with a consultant to answer questions you might have. I'm willing to bet that if it's your first time in an EV, you'll be smiling ear to ear before the ride is done. But to recap, EVs do not pollute 1,850 times more than gas powered vehicles. All the data we have shows that gas cars pollute about twice as much as electric vehicles over their lifetime. That number in the study was a comparison of tailpipe emissions to basically rubber on the road for two gas cars. EVs don't produce tailpipe pollution and the particle pollution from their tires is equal or less than the tire pollution from gas cars and hybrids thanks to regenerative braking. If you happen to be a chemical engineer looking for a field to get into, how about clean tires? That's something we need, but it's not because of EVs. And if you're wondering about the impact on the roads due to EVs being heavier, check out this video over here where I did a deep dive into what the experts are saying about that. That's it for this one. Make sure to read the comment guidelines below and bring data to any claim that you make. Because remember, without data, you're just another person with an opinion. And I think we can all agree that the internet doesn't need any more of those. See you back here next time.